Okay, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tim Morris, and today we're gonna go over four tips that I believe all beginner drummers should be doing. Now, I know that I said beginner drummers, but this can apply to beginner, intermediate, or advanced drummers. It's really more so towards beginner players to stay on a direct path so they don't go all over the place and start feeling lost and confused on what they should be doing, because at least personally, I've been there, and I'm sure that all of you guys have been there too. So this is just a good refresher for anybody. So tip number one is to practice. I know that sounds like the dumbest tip you've ever heard because you're all thinking, obviously practice. But we gotta remember that practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes improvement. I think one of the best tips for practicing is to just have a practice pad. It is just a great thing that us as drummers thankfully have. One thing that I used to do when I didn't have a practice pad or any way to practice because of where I was, I would write down in my notes on my phone or a piece of paper, just a bunch of R, Ls, and Ks, right, left, and kicks, to create patterns so that when I could play something, I'd have stuff written down. So you can plan out what you wanna practice when you're not practicing. Maybe it's a little bit of a stretch, but tip number two, it's an easy one, listening to music. Do you have a favorite song currently? Do you have a favorite album? Do you have a billion favorite albums? I'm guessing you do, because if you're playing drums, you probably love music. So put on whatever song or album you'd like. Play through a whole album. You can play through a new album every day. Even if you don't know it well, challenge yourself. Learn it. You'll be improving while playing. It's the best thing. It's the best thing. It's the best thing. It's the best thing. Okay, tip number three, filming yourself. Sometimes we'll be playing really good in our minds. We'll be like, oh my gosh, we just played the best, the best thing ever. I wish I was recording it. And then sometimes in those instances, you are recording and you happen to look back at it and you're like, what did I just do? That was the worst thing I've ever heard. I'm going to give up on drums for the rest of my life. We've probably all been there, right? Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. But the point is, is that when you film yourself and you see that, you go back and look and go, well, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Because you get to watch it like you're another drummer watching another drummer. It's like you're your own teacher in a way. It's like you're your own teacher in a way, really. There were so many times where I wouldn't film myself and then when I would, I would be so discouraged and disappointed because I was thinking, Oh my gosh, this whole time I thought I was doing really good, but truthfully I'm not. But by filming myself, every time I got back on the kit the next day, it improved a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And it's, it's kind of fun to just go back and watch yourself play. Okay, and finally, tip number four. It's the most important one. Ready for it? Have fun. Don't make drumming a chore. Don't make it something you're going to beat yourself up about. Because I don't know about you, but I've done it too many times and I still do it to this day. When I take a step back and I realize my favorite moments that I've ever played the drums was when I wasn't thinking about, how do I sound? What do people think of me? Oh, this drummer's better than me. It was those moments when I was just having fun. Those are the best moments with drums and with anything really. So it's the best advice that I can give you and that we should all know. And I'm reminding myself of it right now too. So don't ever think that I'm anywhere above you. We're all in this together. Okay, and that is it for today's video. If you gained anything at all from this video, if you stayed till this part, then I'm guessing you enjoyed it just a little bit. So if you could, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you know anyone who might be interested in this video, please share it. And I look forward to seeing you again. Welcome to the community and let's grow together as drummers, musicians, and music lovers. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.